project that we've been working on for a number of years now, where basically we look to upgrade the dairy facilities that we had here on the farm, and we went out to industry for, to look for funding to help fund that. Mm -hmm. And so we were very lucky that we had seven you know, very progressive companies in agri, Irish agri-food companies come on board. So I suppose that's one element of it, is the funding that we raised to build the new facility. And that's going to be a really key facility for undergrads of veterinary students and agriculture students who will be out here as part of their degree. And then we have a lot of postgrad students actually based on the farm here. So the building the facility itself will be really key to that. And then I suppose on the other side of it, and importantly, we've been able to expand cow numbers from 100 to 200 cows as part of this development. And that coincided with quotas, quota abolition uh, last year. Uh, so that extra cows now allows us, we have two herds running. We have a high EBI spring herd on a separate land bank. And then we have another 140 cows, which are both winter and spring milk. So I suppose what we're trying to do is we're looking at, at grass-based dairy production, but we're probably a little more focused um, on sort of fragmented land banks, expansion in that sort of scenario that a lot of farms in the country actually find themselves in. Again, I suppose we're in liquid milk here, so about 10% of, of the milk is, is liquid milk. And we, because of our location here in Kildare, so Dublin, Wicklow, Meath, that area very strong in, in liquid milk, and we have increased our cow numbers in our, our autumn calving cows. So we will have research in terms of efficiencies, the economics of winter milk production, which is a key issue at the minute, particularly the way milk price is. On the spring side of it then, our new high EBI herd, basically operating on a fixed land bank and looking at the kind of supplements that are required to achieve high output, looking at the economics of that. So a lot of the information that's coming out we feel will be useful, not to every farmer in the country, but definitely to a cohort.